Good afternoon. I'm Sister Tonette Sparando. I am the prioress for the Benedictine Sisters of Coleman, Alabama. On behalf of the sisters here at Sacred Heart Monastery, I'd like to extend to you a very, very happy new year. Today, during our communion service, I gave a reflection to our sisters, and I'd like to share that with you as well. Today, January the 1st, marks the beginning of our new year. On January the 1st, we begin a new calendar. One of the things that I like to do in the first week of January is to sit with my last year's calendar, reviewing each month to determine what I should transfer to the new calendar. I'm not comfortable using a digital calendar format so I still transfer things manually to the new calendar. I like this practice of review for each month of the past year because it allows an opportunity for me to reflect on specific events that took place and to ask myself, what of those experiences should I retain? And what should I let go as I begin again? Today, January the 1st, is a day of new beginnings. It is an opportunity for us to reflect in our hearts on the experiences of this past year and to determine how we will open ourselves in response to the opportunities offered in the new year. Mary, the Mother of God, Theotokos, the God-bearer, has much to teach us on reflecting in our hearts the Word made flesh that dwells among us. Mary, the Mother of God, in whose womb divine and human unite. Mary, the Mother of God, Mother of us all teaches us how to see with the heart and to respond daily to God's will in our life. As shared with us by Pope Francis in his homily for today, this is what he instructs. As we begin this new year, let us ask ourselves, do I know how to see with the heart? Do I know how to look at people with the heart? Do I take to heart the people with whom I live? Or do I tear them down by gossip and judgment? And above all, do I put the Lord at the center of my heart? Or are there other values, other interests? like my self-absorbed ways that crowd my heart. Only if we take life to heart, Pope Francis tells us, will we know how to take care and overcome the indifference all around. Mary, our mother, shows us through her lifelong example how to be mother to others as we strive to take care of others and to overcome the indifference around us. Often when I look at images of Mary holding the child Jesus in her arms, I like to reflect on her face. I try to name what I see depicted by that particular artist's gifts. There is a statue of Mary that is usually kept upstairs in the hall across from my bedroom, and now you see it over my shoulder. This particular image of Mary speaks to me of a tender moment shared between a mother and her sleeping child. In that image, I see a mother's heart filled with love, tenderness, and protection. I also see a mother's heart 
continuing to ponder this word made flesh in her arms and of her daily response of yes to God's will in her life. Father Alred, a Benedictine monk from St. Andrew's Abbey in California, writes that Mary's heart becomes the place of discovering Jesus and who he truly is. She spent her life pondering the visible word of God that was and is her son. She grew in knowing him, in comprehending the mystery of God incarnate. And as Mary pondered the visible word, we too must ponder that word in scripture, that word in each other, that word in the created world around us. We too are asked to incarnate Jesus in our lives. This is needed by all of us in this new year, in this strange, confusing, and dangerous age, Father Albert tells us. As we sit in the silence of the God who dwells within us, let us ask for the grace to live this year with the desire to incarnate Jesus in our lives. Pope Francis reminds us that by incarnating Jesus in our hearts, we discover ourselves. Today, let us begin again in this new year. May God bless you and keep you safe.